What's going on guys? It is your boy Crud Frog, and today I bring you a video to showcase a thorn build that absolutely breaks the DLC. And as far as I'm concerned, this build is pretty casual. There's really not that much uh, crazy buffing you need to do, and this is still extremely viable. All right, guys, so pay attention here. Let's get it. I'm going to show you all the items I'm working with, and if you guys want me to make a separate video showing you how to get these items, no problem. Just let me know in the comment box down below. Okay, guys, let's begin. Lusat's Glintstone Staff, plus 10. Okay, we don't need that seal, so ignore that. Staff of the Guilty plus 25 in the offhand, and we're not going to use that. We just use that to buff the thorns. Even just holding it is going to buff our thorn spell. Alberic's Set, okay. Red Feathered Branch Sword, Magic Scorpion Charm Talisman, Radagon Icon, and Graven Mass Talisman. Now, with the Red Feathered Branch Sword, you can change you know, out of this. Um, this talisman is really only going to be effective if your health is low and it's going to raise your attack power. So I might even swap this out before the video is over with. Let me show you. I'm level 200. Those are my stats on the right side of the screen if you want to copy them. And if you want to respec into this build, um, let's say you're level 160. Well, just go and Put, put less into intelligence, and this, this build is still going to be extremely viable and sick as hell. And guys, last but not least, I am Skidoo Blessing level 14. Okay, guys? Now, that's a level that you got to get a lot of fragments for, but it's also a level that you do not have to fight any bosses to get to. Okay? Something I forgot to mention, guys, my physic looks like this. Magic Shrouding Crack tier and the opaline bubble tier, so I can get basically get a free hit on me without hurting me at all. This is one of the early furnace golems, guys, but I, I seriously need you guys to see how insane this build is, dude. So, look at this. We've got staffs on our hands. Let's let him do an attack, and then let's cast these thorns on his leg. Staggered in one hit. All right, staggered in two hits. All right, how about three? All right, no problem. Four hits. Staggered in four hits. Okay. Now, what kind of damage are we going to get to do to this guy's face? Check this out, guys. You see that? 27,669. And if you'll take notice, my FP bar is literally only a little less than halfway empty right now. So if you're repeating my build in any way, shape, or form... I only have 30 mind on my character. This is one of the most crazy builds I have seen in this game so far. Let's venture forth and trivialize some of these bosses and show them who's boss, if you know what I mean. Okay, guys, the lion can't see me because for the purpose of science, we made it so he can't until I attack. Guys, I'm gonna add a little bit different, you know, some different stuff to the mix here. I'm gonna put on Hala Shabriri to build up the madness, okay? Because I added a talisman, the H1's Exaltation, which um, increases attack power when madness is in the vicinity. So let's go mad like a stepdad who's just got back from the bars. Had a little bit, one too many, and he wants to blame everybody but himself for all of his issues. Okay, madness has entered the chat, guys, and he is angry. Okay, we want to drink up. We want to buff up with the physic. We have our thorns out. We have our... Staff of the whatever the fuck in the offhand. Let's get a big strong attack on this tiger. Hold on. Let me drink some more magic. Get right up on this son of a gun. And boom! You see that? He's going to start phase transitioning, dude. Ow! All right. One more ought to do it. Come on, baby. Two more ought to do it. Get him in the air, please. Hell yeah. All right. He's still alive. And we got him. Okay, guys? Now, I was not very precautious in that fight, obviously. Just for the purpose of this video and showing you guys how crazy the build is. Obviously, you're going to need to not be so reckless. Because uh, we have some vigor. We've got 45. And in this video, again, I have 14 level skidoo tree blessing. But let's go check out some other motherfuckers to do this on. I heard that uh, Rilana thought she was uh, pretty cool. She ain't tough. Not when the thorns get her. Oh my god, dude. That's devastating. And then we still have that shield, so... Alright, we just gotta dodge that. No problem. Follow up. Okay. Do your stupid phase transition. Walk into my thorns. 
and you'll be all right. Now, this, these spells are best, most effective up close, obviously, guys, if you haven't seen that already. You know, when we're far away, they do a little less damage. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Get up close, baby. Uh-oh, shit, we're dead. And we're good. Ain't no thang, baby. She's going to hell. Okay, guys. And just like that, guys, another boss down. Again, the stats. Level 200. Skidoo Tree level 14. Let's proceed further. Let's sneak up on this guy. And let's hit his leg with the thorns and see how it goes, guys. Boom! 20k, brother. How about that, brother? Something to write home about. Second stagger, as to be expected. And okay, we're gonna need to take one more hit on him to get another stagger. Oh, maybe another one. This guy's a... Oh, shit! I forgot about that attack. One more, we're good. Alright, now let's pop him in the face. You know, these guys get a little higher scale the further you go into the DLC. We're at Skidoo Atlas right now. Okay, let's smack him in the face. Check it out. Are you guys getting the picture? Okay. Boom! Insane build, dude. This is such a nuts build. And I don't think we'll get a one-shot on the hippo, but I think we'll get pretty damn close to it, guys. Let's get right up on him, and let's give him the thorn. Come on, wrong goddamn weapon. The guide's falling apart. Boom! All right, baby. You can do that all you want. You're going to go down in two shots. Oh, we missed him. All right, no problem. These things happen. Fuck! All right, no problem. He died, and I did too. Sometimes you gotta trade. That's how you break Elden Ring's DLC, and obviously the main game with one thorn spell, man. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Please slap that like button, comment down below, and also subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Now, guys, also, I want you to let me know if you want me to make a comprehensive video for this build on how you get every single item to use the build. All right, because I could totally do that. It's just going to take some time. But for now, guys, this is a quick look at this insane build. Go out there and do this yourselves. It's not patched as of today. See you guys next time on Elden Ring Builds and How-Tos on the Crud Frog channel. Peace!